Cancer is a very scary word in the English language, but it's even scarier when your 10-month-old child has it, let alone the only known case in the world of a particular type. That's what happened to Corey Frizzell when his baby girl was diagnosed. Since that day just over two years ago, Lyric Frizzell responded well to six months of chemo and is currently in partial remission. But Corey got together with a few friends to create Lyrics for Lyric. This new benefit started to help cover medical expenses, but has since expanded with the help of artists such as Marty Rabin, Bo Bice, Michael Peterson, and now Vince Gill. Kelly Lynn caught up with a few of the key players who kept this monthly fundraiser going. I'm here with Corey, and Corey is the father of Lyric and also one of the organizers. And, and you came up with this idea with Mark. And talk a little bit about when you guys put it together. Well, the, the show was actually started last year in November by the Johnson family that owned uh, Pix Nashville, which used to be the Hall of Fame Lounge. They actually started the event and came up with the name Lyrics for Lyric uh, to uh, offset the cost that my family incurred while we were living at Vanderbilt. So that's where it started. Um, seven months in, PICS closed down, and Mark and I were involved from an aspect of production, uh, bringing in some big name acts for it. But uh, we kind of took it over in, uh, in July, and now we're taking it in a different direction. And we want to we want to set up a you know Lyric for Zell Foundation and try to give to the families that are dealing with cancer at Vanderbilt and um, do it in her name in the Lyric for Zell Foundation. So that's the direction we're going. And you know firsthand how that is for the families because you were a family. And how is Lyric doing now? Well, we uh, I tell everybody we just take it a day and a month at a time. You know, if you haven't been through it, you don't really understand. But she's in uh, what's called a partial remission which just simply means she's responded well to the chemo and we now frequent the Vanderbilt Cancer Clinic on a monthly basis. Actually we've been doing it every month for the last year and they've just transitioned to us to every three months but we will do that for another three years and if we can hit the overall five-year mark without a relapse, a full-blown relapse, then they will declare full remission at that time. But again we just we just take each time we go we just you know you're on pins and needles when they're doing the tests and doing everything so but uh, things are looking positive just some good old boy making the noise ain't running around on you give me just one more last chance before you see me through back when i guess when i was about 15 years old i i said you know if i ever have a daughter i want to name her lyric after my music heritage and 18 or so later, years later, I finally had that girl and named her Lyric. I and love it. So, yeah. Great name, great Thank name. You. Well, we are so glad that we're here tonight to join you guys and we're looking forward to the show and glad that you've been able to get this going on and hope that you guys raise lots of money for the foundation. Yeah, we, we appreciate it. It's, a, it's an ongoing monthly thing. Uh, we have some exciting new things in the works and, and we plan on just elevating it and taking it to the next level. When I saw you walk by We've caught up with the very talented Mr. Mason Douglas. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. Now, you're going to be performing here tonight. That's going to be awesome. Rumor has it. Yeah, I'm excited. Excited to be part of the, the Lyrics uh, for Lyric event. Uh, very, very humbled and honored to be here. So hopefully we can make a lot of money and, and have a good time doing it. Absolutely. Have you performed at one of these before, or is this your first time this coming out? This is my out? first one. This, I have not uh, not had a chance to perform here. I know a lot of people who have, a lot of friends and, and uh, musical associates who have. Everybody just comes off raving about it, so I'm, I'm super pumped to be doing it. I saw dogs flying, and I saw your mom crying. The goal is to set up, we have an account, we put the funds in, and we're in the process of getting our tax exempt status, which is a 501c3, and then you set up a foundation, and we want to do it in her name, Lyric Brazil. And we met yesterday morning with the Children's Vanderbilt Hospital. So step by step, we're positioning ourselves to be able to eventually get in place where we can release the funds um, to those that are in need. So if you've never been to the Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt, which I would, it's an awesome experience in many ways. I mean, because it touches your heart, it's very inspirational. You know, those children up there, they, um, you know, unfortunately, they've dealt some bad cards in life, and in some cases, you know, you know, if it's just giving their families a meal, if it's, however, the funds will help them 
better the situation that they're in is what our intent is. There's a lot of things that we can raise money for these days, a lot of great causes out there, but when it comes right down to it, I don't think there's anything more important than our children because they are our future. Proceeds from the shows now go to the Lyric Frizzell Foundation, a nonprofit organization to give back to Vanderbilt in her name. Check out the next show at Rooster's October 25th, where you never know who's going to pop in. Now it's time for our weekly songwriter tip brought to you by Nashville Songwriters Association International. This week, we sit down with George Taron as he talks about saying something an artist would want to say. I may be a real bad boy, but baby, I'm a real good man. Well, that's a song I wrote a few years back that wound up being a hit for Tim McGraw. Tim heard it first, but there were actually a lot of other artists that were interested in the song at the time. Why? Well, I think more than anything, it's because it said something they all wanted to say. Think about that the next time you write a song. Is the song you're writing something you could hear the artist singing night after night, show after show? To learn more about NSAI, visit NashvilleSongwriters.com. That's about all the time we have for this week's show. But don't forget those new Rebels on the Run discs. We have up for grabs from Montgomery Gentry. To enter this week's drawing, you have to enter online at InsideMusicRow.com. I'd like to congratulate Joel Gross from Hamptonville, North Carolina, as one of our Jimmy White iPod giveaway winners. Joel, look for this in the mail very soon. We're going to leave you with the latest from Toby Keith. Here is Made in America. Don't miss out next week when we check out a number one party with Blake Shelton. Until next time, I'm Bailey for Inside Music Row, and I'll see you again real soon.